We are here at HFMA's 2023 annual conference in Nashville, and I am very excited today to be joined by MG, the CEO of Gebs. Welcome. Thank you. Today we're talking about AI. So I want to talk about AI in RCM for a minute. I think that there are some real opportunities there, but where are the challenges as you see them? Yeah. Opportunities are everywhere. You take the revenue cycle management, front end, mid end, back end, at every step. And we believe in digitizing this uh, value chain at Gebs. Everywhere there is a, either an opportunity to automate something, there is an opportunity to innovate something, and there is an opportunity to transform something. Now, when you want to automate, immediately you will look at uh, whether I should do a robotic process automation. Can it be AI-enabled robotic process automation? When you are innovating, are you changing the way uh, the processes are uh, to be working? Can you streamline them? And then you translate them into a transform. So AI and technology, we picked up this AIT and we run a theme in GEVS called as Automate, Innovate, Transform, right? Now, we are discussing about front-end, we are discussing about mid-end, we are discussing about the back-end. Now, brilliant opportunities are there. How do you improve your front-end? Our front-end process in hospitals and health systems are still kind of manual, broken, uh, given by human uh, interface behind it. Your mid-end process are basically related with coding and payment posting. And Autonomous coding is almost now dominating the world of coding. But challenge that comes in is physicians trust and health systems trust need to come in because most of the autonomous coding if doesn't result into a desired accuracy levels, then it can create a huge challenge uh, for that. And AI can transform or intervene almost at every point. The challenges that are going to come are mostly related with data privacy and ensuring the compliance with the federal guidelines that you have. Second issue will coming in is AI is lot of data accumulation and a data analysis and a data synthesis that one needs to do. And it will create loads of information about patient and protecting the patient health information because if by chance that database goes in a wrong hand and it is not being used ethically, so most of the risk and compliance team members of uh, the U.S. healthcare companies will continue to focus on the Privacy Act very, very clean and neat. And these are the majority of two challenges. Technology won't be a challenge, but data privacy will be a biggest challenge that will come in while implementing AI into RCM. Here at the annual conference, I would be surprised if I would meet any providers who aren't dealing with workforce shortages right now. It's a problem that has been around for a long time. It's gotten worse. It's not going away anytime soon, but there are things that can be done to mitigate some of those challenges. Um, what, what can Gebs do there? Two things are very clear, that the staff shortage is not likely to go away, right? And many a times the normal solution that anybody can provide that transfer your headache to me, and I will manage your headache going forward, and I will have the staff shortages sorted out for you because of the value chain that you have already established. But offshoring and outsourcing is not the only solution that can come in. That can be a low-hanging solution to sort out a peculiar challenge related with the staff shortage. But at the same time in the ecosystem, I'm acquiring new hospitals, I'm acquiring new entities and physician practices, and integrating it with the overall health system as such. And at that time, what do I do with the data integration? How do I migrate? And does only the human capital, which is staffing, is the only solution? So we normally advise that let's co-create this, right? We will walk in as your consultants and let's look at whether the process can be streamlined and whether by streamlining the process, whatever necessary efficiencies that can be built in and the output can be increased. Second, we always advise from GAP's consulting point of view that convert output into outcomes. How do you translate the output into outcomes gives you sufficient measurement 
per se. And the last piece is about how do we implement technology into the overall ecosystem to improve the information flow that is happening in the ecosystem. Once that activity is completed, then providing a human capital solution is relatively easy. Our second advice as Gebs to most of the providers is whatever is the routine, mundane kind of a job which is a time consuming and you have quite qualified and experienced people getting engaged into the routine and mundane kind of a work, why not focus on either automating or getting out that activity and use that qualified staff for a complex transactions which will be immensely helpful for the organization. I've heard that quite a bit and, and I also hear not only does that make things more efficient, but it makes your staff happier because they're getting to use their brains a little more. They're getting to do those things that are challenging rather than the same repetitive task all the time. Absolutely. All right. Well, there's definitely a lot to think about here. Uh, MG, thank you so much for joining thank me. Thank you so much for having me here.